In this video, I'm going to be doing a commentary drive to show you how you can pass your practical driving test in an automatic car. I'm doing this drive around Castledine Driving Test Center, but most of the tips I give here can also apply at other driving test centers. I'll be driving through main roads and mat residential areas, and I'll also be doing three maneuvers, including 3.10, straight line reverse and the U-turn. Before we begin, it's important to understand that the driving test has three key components. The first component is the pretest questions and it's the easiest. Your driving examiner will ask you two or three questions related to the vehicle controls. The second component is driving. This component is the main one and it's the one where most people fail at. The third component is maneuvers. You'll be asked to do one, two or three maneuvers such as parking or some kind of turn around maneuver. Let's begin. Once you get inside your vehicle, close the door and make sure that your seat and mirrors are set up correctly. And also don't forget to put on your seat belt. Once the driving examiner is inside the car, we can start the engine. To leave the driving test center, we put the car in drive, look around, and also we have to release the parking brake or the handbrake. We are turning right, then left. To turn left, we indicate left. The roads here are a bit narrow, so if there is a car entering the center, we might have to stop and wait for them. At the end of the street, we can only turn left into the left lane. There is a solid white line preventing us from going straight into the middle lane. Once we turn left, the left lane ends, so we have to speed up and merge to the right. Check mirrors, indicate right, and also check the blind spot. At the roundabout coming up, we're gonna be going right, so we have to change lanes. Rear view mirror, indicate, shoulder check, and move when safe to do so. To turn right at the roundabout, we indicate right, and give way to vehicle that are inside the roundabout and those approaching from the right. When safe to do so, we enter the roundabout. As we exit the roundabout, we check the left hand side. Also, the left lane ends, so we have to do a blind spot check to our left. The speed sign tells us that the speed limit on this road is 50 km per hour. We're gonna take the next left, so we check our mirrors and indicate left. Also, because there is a white parking lane on our left, it's a good idea to check the blind spot. Once we turn left, we see a sign which shows us that the speed limit in this area is 40 km per hour. This sign means that every street around this area is 40 km per hour and not just this street. There is a bend coming up, so we have to slow down and keep left. Another bend again, so we want to slow down and keep left. They are parked vehicles, so we want to leave enough space. At the end of the road, we're gonna be going right, 
check the mirrors, indicate, and give way. There are vehicles approaching, so we want to make sure that we don't rush the turn. Once safe to do so, we can turn. Construction on the left, so we want to drive to the condition and remember the 40 km per hour speed limit that we just passed. The next street we're gonna be going right, so we check our mirrors and indicate right. Once we turn right, we see there are parked vehicles on our left, so we want to make sure that we leave enough space between ourselves and parked vehicles. Here we're gonna pull over on the left and do a three point turn. So we check our left side mirror and indicate left. We want to make sure that we park properly without hitting the curb. Once we stop, we put the handbrake on and put the car in park. To start the 3.10, we want to put the car in drive and release the handbrake. We then check our mirrors, indicate and check the blind spot. When safe to do so, we do a full lock to the right while moving slowly. Once we are close enough to the curb, put the car in reverse, look to the left, right, and physically look at the rear. When safe to do so, we move slowly while doing a full lock to the left. We can use our side mirrors or glance at the reversing camera to judge how far we are from the curb. We then stop, put the car in drive, indicate right, look left and right. When safe to do so, we steer to the right while moving slowly. Parked vehicles, so we want to leave enough space. At the end of the road, we are going to turn left. Check the left side mirror, indicate left and position the vehicle in the left turn position. When safe to do so, we can complete our turn. Again, here we have parked vehicles and a speed limit of 40 km per hour. Another parked vehicle. At the end of the road, we are going to turn right, so we check the right side mirror, indicate, and slow down. Waiting for a safe gap. There is a safe gap so we can go ahead and make our turn. After turning, we can either go into the right lane or the left lane. In this situation, we choose the left lane as we want to continue straight. 
There is this vehicle which does a U-turn but they position the car too far forward. In this situation we have to be careful because we don't want to hit them. We also have to be careful that we don't go too much to the right as there could be vehicles in the right lane. Another option is to change to the right lane but the space here is just enough to fit our vehicle without having to change lanes. At the first set of traffic lights we are going straight and then take the slip lane on the left at the second set of traffic lights. The traffic lights here are red so we have to stop making sure that we can see at least the tires of the front vehicle. Looking both ways as we pass through the traffic lights. We are going left so we have to indicate left and because we cannot fit in this space we stop and wait for the front vehicles to move first. Once they move, we check the left side mirror and get into the slip lane. Careful with the pedestrian crossing on the slip lane. There are no pedestrians and no vehicles in front so we can move forward and pass the pedestrian crossing. Looking to make sure there are no oncoming vehicles, no one is approaching so we can turn. A speed limit of 70 km per hour. Soon we are going to be changing to the middle lane. To change lane we check our mirrors, indicate and check the blind spot. When safe to do so we can change lane. Slowing down as the front vehicles are slowing down. Also check our rear view mirror as we slow down and make sure that we are not too close to the front vehicle. There is a 60 km per hour roadwork sign so we have to obey that. Soon we want to change back to the left lane but this time there is a bit of traffic so we have to be more focused. We don't want to slow down the vehicles behind us and we also don't want to cut off cars in the left lane. Keep checking the mirrors for a safe gap but also monitoring the front traffic. There is a car that's about to pass so I indicate. However, after indicating, I realized another vehicle has started to speed up and it's not safe to change lane anymore, so I abandoned the lane change and removed the indicator. 
Also, at this point, it's actually no longer a good idea to change lane as the vehicles in front are slowing down and we are too close to the traffic lights. Monitoring the mirrors, it's now safe, so we indicate, check the mirrors and check the blind spot. We are going to change lane again, so we check the mirrors, indicate and check the blind spot. I did the lane change just before reaching the traffic lights. The traffic lights are red, so we have to stop behind the solid white line. Once the traffic light goes green, we look both ways and start moving. We are continuing straight ahead. Looking ahead, we see that the left lane is about to end, so we have to merge. To merge to the right, we check the mirrors, indicate and check the blind spot. It's safe to merge so we can steer slightly to the right without jacking the steering wheel. There is a new speed limit of 70 km per hour which means that the roadways have ended and we can now speed up past 60 km per hour. The cars in front are stopping, so we slow down and stop. Soon we are going to turn left into the slip lane, so we check our left side mirror, indicate left and wait until we reach the slip lane before slowing down as we don't want to slow down vehicles going straight. There are pedestrians waiting to cross but there is no pedestrian crossings so we just need to slow down and make an eye contact with the pedestrians and confirm that they won't suddenly cross in front of us. In this situation there is no need to stop for the pedestrians giveaway sign so we have to slow down and look for approaching vehicles. No one so we can complete our turn. We are going to use the left lane to turn right. Indicating right and here there is no giveaway sign so we don't need to stop. We just need to scan through the intersection. A speed limit of 40 km per hour. Also, because we are in a lane with arrows pointing to the left, if the driving examiner doesn't give directions, we have to turn left. To turn left, we check the left side mirror and indicate left. A speed limit of 60 km per hour.
parked vehicles so we want to make sure that we don't get too close to them. I just check the mirror for anyone who may be trying to overtake. Here the car is not going to cross completely into the oncoming lane so there is no need to indicate. After passing parked cars we reposition the car into the left lane. Coming up is a roundabout and we are going straight to the second exit. Approaching the roundabout we slow down, check the inside of the roundabout and also anyone who may be approaching quickly from the right. No need to indicate entering the roundabout, it's safe to proceed so we can continue straight. Before leaving we indicate left keeping an eye on this car leaving the fuel station and also a 60 km per hour speed limit sign. Another parked vehicle making sure that we leave a safe gap. No one on the zebra crossing and none waiting to cross so I just continue straight. In this situation there is no need to slow down as we have good visibility of what's happening at a pedestrian crossing. Another pedestrian crossing but there is no one so we just continue. More parked vehicles so we have to use the same approach as before and make sure that we don't get too close to them. After the parked vehicles we are going to turn left, mirror, indicate and then turn. More parked vehicles on the left side. After passing the vehicles we make sure that we get the car back to the left. Coming up is a crossroad and we are turning left. So we check the left side mirror, indicate left, slow down and position the car left. No one is coming so we can just turn. Pulling over on the left, so we check the mirrors, indicate and stop close but not too close to the curb. We are now going to do our second maneuver which is a straight line reverse. To start the maneuver we put the car in reverse check the surroundings. When safe we put the handbrake down and start looking behind while reversing. Once we are done, we put the car in drive, check the mirrors, indicate right and check the blind spot. And then when safe to do so, we leave the side of the road and start driving straight ahead. At the end of the road, we are going to do our third and final maneuver which is a U-turn at the T-intersection. To start the U-turn, we check the rear view mirror position slightly left and carry out necessary observations. When safe we drive straight for a bit and then turn back into the street we were on. Carrying out more observations before exiting the U-turn. It's safe to do so so we can turn back. Parked vehicles so we have to leave a safe gap. We are going to take the second street on the left so we check our left side mirror, slow down and then turn left.
parked vehicles. Another parked vehicle near the bend. In this situation, it's important to be careful as we can't see around the bend and we don't know if there are vehicles approaching or cyclists or maybe even scooters. Repositioning back to the left straight after passing the parked vehicle. At the end of the road, we are turning left. So we check the left side mirror, slow down, position slightly left and give way to any oncoming vehicle. No one is coming, so we can just slow down and keep moving without stopping fully. At the end of the road, we are going right. This time there is a stop sign. So we stop completely, carry out observations. It's safe to turn, so we can complete the turn. Another stop sign ahead, so at the end of the road, and we are going to turn left. Mirror, indicate, and stop completely. It's safe to turn, so we can just go ahead and complete the turn. At the traffic lights, we are going to turn right, check the mirrors, position in the right lane, and then slow down. Here we have a green light, but there is no arrow. Because there's no one approaching from the opposite direction, we can just go ahead and complete the turn. School's on sign, but it's outside school hours, so we can just continue doing 60. A speed limit of 60 km per hour. Checking our mirrors every now and then. We are returning back to the driving test center, which is what would happen on the day of the driving test. Coming up is a roundabout and we will be going right to the third exit. Check the mirrors, indicate right, position the car in the right lane and slow down. No one is inside the roundabout and no one is approaching too fast from the right so we can just go ahead and enter the roundabout. Continue following the inside lane Check the left hand side and also indicate left to exit. At the traffic lights, we are going to turn right. So we check our right side mirror, indicate right, and then change to the right hand side lane. The traffic lights have red arrows, so we have to stop behind the solid white line. Green lights and green arrows so we can just turn. Check both sides while moving through.
We are going to take the next right, so we check the right side mirror and rear view mirror, indicate right and slow down. It's safe to turn, so we can just go ahead and turn. Right again, so we check the rear view mirror, right side mirror and turn right. No one is at the pedestrian crossing, so we can continue. Turning left, so we check the rear view mirror and left side mirror. It's safe to turn, so we can turn. This road is narrow and has a speed limit of 20 km per hour, so we have to keep left and also slow down. No need to indicate because this is just a bend. A stop sign at the intersection and we are going straight. So we stop and look for vehicles approaching from the right. No one is there, so we can continue. At the end of the road, we are going to turn right, so make sure there are no cars approaching from the left and the right, and then turn right. We've come to the end of this drive, and we are going to park the vehicle. If this is an actual driving test, your driving examiner will ask you to switch off the engine and take you to the office to tell you whether you passed or whether you failed the test. They will also give you feedback explaining any driving errors that you may have made. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more driving related videos. Remember, practice makes progress. And if you are doing a driving test soon, I wish you the best of luck. See you in the next video.